For countless years, people have used silver and gold as their primary currency. And over those years, some of it was lost, stashed, or otherwise taken and hidden from history. These are the stories of America's buried treasures in your neck of the woods. Our next treasure tale takes us to Talbot County, Maryland. For a senator's cash buried for safekeeping. In 1790, Senator William Perry II and his wife, Elizabeth Hinman, moved in and started expanding a plantation property Elizabeth family had owned on the Miles River. It became one of the most prominent Eastern Shore properties during the late 18th century. Mr. Perry eventually became the president of the Maryland Senate and named his residence Perry Hall. The property consisted of 350 acres, described as being four miles west of Easton, Maryland. Senator Perry was said to have stored his wealth in iron boxes that he kept in the house. When he would leave to travel, he was said to have buried the iron boxes on his property to keep it safe while he was away. Once the Senate session was complete, he'd dig them back up and store them back inside. In 1799, Senator Perry once again went through the routine of burying his wealth before heading off to the Senate. This time, however, would be his last. Senator Perry reached Annapolis, but died suddenly while there. Having not told anybody where he'd hidden his wealth before he died, its secret died with him. His family was reported to have searched for years for the senator's riches, but it was never recovered. The house fell into disrepair and later caught fire. The home was eventually repaired and became the property of Meba School in Easton. If you have any interest in hunting the property, you'd need their permission to hunt. Rumor has it Perry Hall doesn't see much use though. It's the home of ghostly voices and footsteps, dimming lights and unexplained noises. The house was also the location of another treasure story, but of riches being recovered. In the early 1700s, when the house was still owned by the Hinmans, Mrs. Perry's family, it was reported that a freak accident during a lightning storm had struck a grandfather clock against the wall. The lightning strike was said to have traveled through Polly Hinman, a family member who was raising the window at the time the bolt struck. While the story does not say if Polly survived or not, it did say that the shock knocked open the clock door and gold pieces started pouring out onto the floor. With all the reports of treasure, both lost and found, it makes you wonder just what might have been buried and never spoken of. The wealth could be hidden anywhere. Sounds like a bucket lister day if you can get permission. Are you digging it? Good luck. Happy hunting. Keep on digging it. Please like, subscribe, and share with a friend. Hit that notification button to follow me on YouTube. Thanks for stopping in. Hope you enjoyed. Good luck. Happy hunting. Keep on digging it. For even more to explore, check out these other videos.